This is Pastor Derek Rice with the Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference sharing with you a Proctor Conference collaborative effort in Jackson, Mississippi. We've collaborated with Bishop Frank Madison Reed of the AME Church, the Reverend Dr. Forrest Harris of American Baptist College, the Black Church PAC, our long-term partner, Lot Carey, as well as local pastors there in the Jackson area. Because of a humanitarian crisis caused by the recent severe winter storm in the South, thousands of God's people have suffered for over three weeks with no flushable, potable, or drinkable water. For over three weeks, a failed water infrastructure system has found our people in Jackson and the Deep Delta in dire need for water, food, and for finances. So, brothers and sisters, we need you to help us treat the people's needs as holy. This crisis calls for a Katrina-level response to people having no food and water for such a protracted period of time. Having learned our lessons from Flint and from New Orleans, we've partnered with Lot Carey and organizations who've been providing relief to those disenfranchised in the Delta for years. And so we need you in the now to donate to the Mississippi Storm Relief Fund, which can be found at secure.actblue.com forward slash donate ms forward slash ms winter storm fund or you can give using givelify at lock carry givelify at samuel dewitt proctor conference or go to sdpconference.info click on the invest contribute tab and give there god bless you brothers and sisters for helping us treat the people's needs as holy God bless you and good morning. Welcome once again to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of daily prayer and song, the Proctor Prayer Demic. Today is Friday, March 26, 2021, and all month long, as you know, we've been honoring women for Women's History Month. We've had women prayer warriors from around the globe, and today is no different. Whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we're so glad you have joined us this morning. We invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info. We'd like you to sign up to receive text message updates from us by texting SDPC, that's SDPC, to the number 84576. That's 84576 to automatically sign up for text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We promise to only use your number for sharing information. We will never sell or give your information away. And if you have loved ones without a smartphone or without internet access, please let them know they can also listen to the Daily Prayer at noon central and 8.30 p.m. central by dialing 909-318-7018. Seven zero one one. That's nine zero nine three one eight seven zero one one. Thank you all. And here is your host today, the Reverend Dr. Susan Smith. Good morning, everyone. In Sao Bonani, it's a Zulu word that says we see you, we respect you, you are important to us, and we are so glad that you are here on this day. Um, I'm reminded today of how we have been lifting up the women, and, and I'm reminding us that on a day like today, after what happened in Georgia yesterday, that we are called to be um, women in our strongest sense. We are called to be bold. We are called to be courageous. We are called to be persistent, steadfast, and immovable. Psalm 27 verses 1 and 2 say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And we are definitely called not to be afraid of the empire. If it had not been for the women fighting the empire all this time, where would we be? I'm reminded of Alice Walker, who talked about and spoke of Haile Wangari Maathai, a Kenyan woman who um, was the first woman in Central and in Eastern Africa to earn a PhD. She earned it in biology in the state of Kansas. But then she went back home and she saw what the deforestation and the and the and the things that the empire was doing to her land was doing. It was causing all all types of problems and affecting even the way the women were able to raise their children. She found what was called the Green Belt Movement. And they planted, these women planted these trees all over um, Africa 
before she died, millions of trees had been planted. And to date, over 45 million trees have been planted because of her energy, her work, and her refusal to be sitting down and being complacent. Well, when she died, Alice Walker wrote a poem, and it's called Democratic Womanism. And she says, in the poem, you ask me why I smile when you call me. You intend in the coming national elections to hold your nose and vote for the lesser of two evils. There are more than two evils out there is one reason I smile. Another is that our old buddy Nostradamus comes to mind with his fearful 400 year old prophecy that our world and theirs too, our enemies, lots of kids included there, will end by nuclear Nakba or Holocaust in our lifetime, which makes the idea of elections and the billions of dollars wasted on them somewhat fatuous. A southerner of color, my people held the vote very dear, while others for centuries merely appeared to play with it. One thing I can assure you of is this, I will never betray such pure hearts by voting for evil, even if it were microscopic, which as you can see in any newscast, um, it, no matter the slant, it is not. I want something else, a different system entirely, one not seen on this earth for thousands of years, if ever. Spirit of the living God, as we come on this day when some of us are wrestling with what to do and how to do it as voter suppression and evil and, and sickness in this period of pandemic and police demic, as we come this morning, Lord God, some of us straining and wringing our hands, maybe wondering what to do, remind us, Lord God, that if it had not been for the women who rang, might have wrung their hands, but who continued to walk and to work, we would not be here today. And so we have a legacy to continue. We thank you this morning for this daily prayer call. We thank you for the founders of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright Jr., the Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III, and our own beloved, the General secretary of this organization, Reverend Dr. Mama Ira Carruthers. Lord God, if it had not been for the women, if it had not been for the leaders, if it had not been for the boldness that our ancestors have put forward, none of us would be here. So on this day, let your Holy Spirit of encouragement, let your anointing of encouragement fall fresh on us, pick us up, wipe us off, and give us a new surge of energy so that as the evil comes marching toward us, as the evil of empire works to steal our joy that they lose they lose because we stand up in your name we stand up in the name of jesus if we are christian we stand up in the name of allah if we're muslim we stand up lord and all the names of the deities of the people represented on this call because we realize everybody might not be christian but everybody knows that they need god so on this day spirit of the living god come and be with us amen and amen we are honored today to be um, able to welcome as our prayer warrior, Dieta M. West. And she says for us to call her Mama D. Um, but she is an evangelist, an actor, an author, a singer, a motivational speaker. She's a bad mama. She's a bad mama. She has written a book because she wants and she travels around the country giving workshops, uh, but going by this book, um, Get Up, which is her book, and she wants people, her, her, her passion is her commitment to speak life into the hearts of the wounded and the broken vessels that God assigns to her. Her passion is to help get people past their hurts so that they can fulfill their God-given calling. She was born and raised in, in San Diego, California. She accepted the call to ministry in 1979 in Hawaii. Um, but she is just so well-rounded. She does so many things. She is, um, I already said that she's a singer and an actor. She attended San Diego State University, uh, College with music as her major. Um, she's an accomplished stage and screen actor. Um, she is a recipient of a gold album where she sang the theme song, Gonna Fly Now from the movie Rocky. She hosted her own television show in Los Angeles called Tea with Dieta. She has been on the stage in so many productions, including Pearly, one of my favorites, uh, a Raisin in the Sun and Angels Training. Um, her television credits are so much that if we, if we went over and we'd still be on the phone in an hour, but she's been in so many productions and she, I mean, she's, she's, she shines. One of some of her, uh, her appearances have been Mary, Us for Christmas, starring Victoria Rowell and Melinda Williams and Marcus John, uh, Houston and Christoph St. John and A Baby for Christmas, Saints and Sinners. I can't go on and on and on, but you should look her up because she is really, really, really um, widely known in this country. She is the sister of the late Yvonne Little, 
Um, and she is a person though in her own right. In 2015, she was asked to serve as an ambassador for the Ritza Babo Yi Leilai located in Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, that our organization was founded in 2004 as a development project and it was registered in 2005 with the Department of Trade and Industry as a section 21 organization. The, organ the name which I just mispronounced Babu Yile means that they have come back. They have come back in Zulu. And the initial purpose of this organization was to reintegrate former inmates into society through skills development and initiatives. Her goal or their goal is to uplift communities and truly eradicate poverty, just like when Gary Matai wanted to do amongst historically disadvantaged communities. The name Babo Yile indicates that our beneficiaries will give back to their communities and bring about a positive change. We are so honored to have her as our prayer warrior. So after a selection by our dear friend, uh, Reverend Darian Bolden, who is a young man and an old body or a young man and an old body who will sing you up to heaven. If you're not already on your way, you will be, once you hear him sing, the next voice that you will hear will be that of our prayer warrior, Miss evangelist, actress, minister, Dieta West, whom we call Mama D. Amen. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No one like him can heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will God till the day is done. Oh, there's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No. Not one, none else like him is so high and holy. No, not one, no, not one. And yet no one like him is so meek and low. No, not one, no, not one, oh, Jesus knows all about our struggles, and he will die till the day is done. No, 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 there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, no, not one. I'll search high and low. No, not one. My mama can't do it. No, not one. Friends and family can't do it. No, not one. No, 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 not one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being our friend. We lift up our eyes and our hearts and our minds to the author and finisher of our faith. We thank you, Father God. Oh, we reach out to you 
No other help we know. If thou withdraw thy hand from us, we don't have nowhere else to go. So this morning, we go to the rock of our salvation, to the stone that the builders rejected. Great is thy faithfulness, Father. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. You gave us strength for today and a bright hope for tomorrow. Thank you for hope. We thank you, Father, for your word that we, we send to you as we pray the word, we pray the answer, Father God, and we, we pray and we lift our voices up to you, everyone in this Zoom room, everyone on this call, because when we send your word back to you, it sets your spiritual laws into motion. So on this morning, we come to you with an attitude of gratitude and thankfulness. Uh, Reverend Susan has prayed us through, she's prayed for the nation, she's prayed for the world globally, she lifted up and we concur, we touch and agree and say it is well, it is done. Father, on this morning, I feel in my spirit that you want me and desire that I deposit your word, your promises into the hearts and the souls of very spirit of those who have joined and gathered today. Your people who are called by your name, we stand here, we bow here, we sit here humbling ourselves. We seek your face and we gotta do some turning. We all gotta do some turning. We all got some stuff, stuff that we think may not be wicked, but Father, we know, I know there's some things in our lives that we need to turn and continue to walk towards you and continue to, you said if we turn from our wicked ways that you will hear us, you will forgive us and you will heal us. We seek healing and deliverance on this day. So Father, I thank you for your word that is sharper than any two-edged sword. I thank you for your promises. You promised us that in the time of trouble that you would hide us. Thank you for hiding us from the troubles that we have gone through years past and going forward. There's some stuff that we may encounter, but I thank you, Father God, that you said in your word that you would perfect everything that concerns us. There's some folk on this line that have offered to send timbers up to you. They've got some things they're concerned about. And I thank you, Father, in your word that you already gave them the answer that you would perfect everything that concerns us. I thank you, Father God, because you said in everything give thanks because that's your will concerning us. We constantly, Lord, be, be searching for what you will, what you will for my life, what you need me to do. What, what You said, go somewhere and sit down and thank me. Thank me for what I've done, for what I'm going to do. Thank me for stuff you don't even, we don't even know about. We thank you in advance for healing in our body because you said in your word that by your stripes, we are healed. We hold on to that. Your word are as the manual and the tool and tools and the equipment that we need in our lives to keep moving forward. We have some stuff that we struggle through in our bodies, in our minds, on our jobs, in our homes, in our churches, everywhere. But we know and trust in you. You said in your word to trust in you and lean not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways to acknowledge you and you'll direct our path, lest we forget that your word is ever present for us, that we should hide it in our hearts so that we can speak those things in existence, Father God. You said in your word that we could speak to mountain. On this morning, I speak on behalf of everyone on this call to the mountains in their lives, even though they can speak for themselves. But you said we can speak. We don't have to wait for you. You said speak to those mountains and they shall be moved. We 
we just thank you for provision. We just, just forgive us for not remembering just the small things. Thank you that we could get up out of our beds this morning, put both feet on the ground and walk. We may have a few, I may have a few aches in my body, but I know, Father God, there's, some, there's a bigger picture. There's some folks out there who are struggling with some issues, who have lost some loved ones, not only just with the pandemic, but they've lost some loved ones that they are still grieving over. God, I pray that they will take your word. I deposit this word that weeping may endure for a night, but we thank you for the joy that you gave, give us every morning and that you've given us this morning. I thank you for those who are on this line who are committed to trust in you, to trust in you and to walk up rightly before you, to walk in their calling and their purpose and to continue to be bold knowing that you are fighting every battle as we put on our whole armor of God. You told us each piece that we need to put on. So Father, help us to be obedient to your word. Obedience is better than sacrifice. We give you the glory because we know that your eye is on us, Father God, that your hand is on us, Father God. We thank you that you provide because in your word you said daily, not just uh, occasionally, but daily, you load us with benefits. Thank you for every benefit, Father God. We thank you for that your will is that we prosper and be in health even as our souls prosper. We thank you for that word. We send it back to you. Everybody right now as I'm speaking it through and to them, that we're sending that word back to you on behalf of, of ourselves, Father God, knowing that you hear and answer every one of our prayers, that we wait on you, Father, and that we be encouraged, and that we know that your word says we are more than conquerors. God, I stand on your word every day of my life, because that's what gets me through, because through many dangerous toils and snares, everybody. We've already come, but through it all, we'll continue to trust in you and continue to lean upon your holy word. Satan, you have no victory. You have no place. And we speak for a moment. We give you a second of our time. That's all you get. And what you get is us saying, get thee behind us and do not push. The blood of Jesus is against you and the blood still works. So Father, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you that you trust me with your word, that you trust me with your dear saints that are in the Zoom room right now, Father, that you will touch them in their homes, their families, touch everything that they are concerned about, Father God, and that we will just take a closer walk with you. I thank you for this prayer. I thank you for this time that they have set aside every day to lift up your name because prayer changes things and it changes people. So we thank you. We're being selfish today because we, we're just talking about ourselves right now. There are some things we need to focus on as far as our lives. Yes, we care about other folk, but we need to turn the spotlight on ourselves and begin to ask you to search us search our hearts. If there's anything that needs to be removed, that we give it up to you and not keep holding on to it, Father, so that you can move in our lives and you can do what you already have set on the path to do for us. But we have been a little bit of holding back or want to hold on to our stuff and think we're going to fix something. Father God, we can't fix nothing because without you, we are nothing. So I thank you and I praise you. I speak these words of life. I thank you, Father God, as you're building us up. You're building us up and then we will be strong in the power of your might, Father God. And we glorify you. We honor you. We thank you. It is well with our souls, even if we don't feel like it. Sometimes we can't even see your hand. But on today, Father God, you wanna let all of us know that you have your hand on our lives and that we can keep lift, lifting our eyes, lifting our eyes to the hill from which cometh our help, because it sure enough comes from you, Father God. 
So we glory in you and we rest in you and we take a deep breath and we exhale and knowing that the things that are in our life's right, life right now, these two shall pass. The storm is passing over. I thank you last night as we had some shake rattling and rolling here in Atlanta, Georgia, almost to the point where we thought we were just gonna have to shelter and go into the basement, but God, the storm passed over because we just, we were still and we said, we know you got this. The storm passes over in our lives when we continue to trust you and give our agendas to you, our schedule to you. What You are the caffeine in our coffee. You are the energy in our energy drink. And we say, thank you. We are grateful for goodness and mercy that you promised would follow us all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name, we all say and open up our mouths and we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We won't. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We won't complain. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh Lord, we give you praise. And, oh Lord, we bless your name. And we lift our voices to say thank you for your goodness. Yes, Lord. And your mercy for us, for your, your goodness, and your mercy toward us. Anybody know about it? For, for your goodness, and your mercy toward us. We offer praise. This is why we do it. You are worthy of glory. Honor worthy of the praise for your goodness. And your mercy toward us, even when I haven't been good, it's for your goodness. And your mercy toward us, great is your faithfulness every morning for your, for your goodness. And your mercy toward us, we offer praise. And you are the source of my strength. Oh, God, you are the strength of my life. All of my help comes from you. You are the source of my strength. Yes, day by day, you are the strength of my life. When I feel like I can't make it on, you are the source of my strength. Oh, you are. You are the strength of my life. Come on, right where you are. So we lift our hands in total praise to, to you. Amen. 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 
come on, give him praise for what he's done this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise God for that um, old man and the young man's body. Am I getting it wrong? I know there's some old and some young in there mixed together and it's coming forward. I thank you, Brother Darian Bolden. We um, uh, are grateful to all of you who sign in uh, for this prayer every day. And we know that you now have heard I know of some of the work that the Samuel DeWitt Proctor does. And so we encourage you uh, to become a contributor, an investor in our work. You don't have to have a lot of money. You know, the littlest uh, uh, donation can add up. So if you only have $5, if you only have $2, maybe just $1, just go on to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor website, www.sdpconference.info and give what you have and God will multiply it. Um, and God will also uh, bless you for trusting God enough to believe that you can give what you can and it will be put to good use. Again, the website is www.sdpconference.info info and you hit this the the contribute invest tab do what you can you know political movements are built because people give 25 cents 50 cents a dollar millions of people do that and great work is done well some work is great but work is done and so we ask you to to consider that and and, and work with us this the, the um the relief for the people in jackson mississippi is vital so please do what you can and we thank you for it so we close now I just want to read just a couple more lines of that poem because, just because, um, Alice Walker says, one has not seen on this earth for thousands of years of ever democratic womanism. Notice how this word has man right in the middle of it. That's one reason I like it. He is right there, front and center, but he is surrounded. I want to vote and work for a way of life that honors the feminine, a way that acknowledges the theft of the wisdom female and dark mother leadership might have provided our spaceship all along. I am not thinking of a talking head kind of gal, happy to be mixing it up with the baddest of bad boys on the planet, her eyes a slit, her mouth a zipper. No, I am speaking of true regime change where women rise to take their place en masse at the helm of Earth's frail and failing ship, where each thousand years of our silence is examined with regret and the cruel manner in which our values of compassion and kindness have been ridiculed and suppressed, brought to bear on the disaster of the present time. If it had not been for the women, where would we be? If it had not been for the God who created all of us, where would we be? We thank you. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. We hope you share um, some joy, some encouragement with somebody else. Um, and let's keep looking up to the hills from whence comes our help because God is good, always has been, and always will be. Take good care. Bye-bye.